Good morning, brethren. I have some wonderful, sweet things to share with you. The first is a video from Brother Wretched Knucklehead, Eberly Jr. from the Wretched Knucklehead channel. Um, he is a great saint of the Lord, a minister of the word, and uh, a great preacher. I am going to put his video in the description box um, where he talks about um, the defeat of um, God's people's enemy by a prayer that someone had done. And I'm not going to give it away. I'm going to let you watch it because it's great. It's a great video because it seems as though the enemy might have won in many lives of the saints, but it's not true, brethren. We have victory in Jesus no matter what. And uh, if, if the high priest, Jesus Christ, is praying for us at the right hand of the Father, no enemy can defeat us. It may feel like it. It may seem like it. But the prayer of a righteous man will avail much, it says in the scriptures. And the Holy Spirit prays in utterances that we cannot, we cannot understand. And that Holy Spirit is in the saints. And the Holy Spirit is praying in Christ to our Abba Father. And so we don't know what they're saying, what, what he's saying, excuse me, to the father. And since we are the, 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 the bridegroom's wife adorned as a bride um, with the Holy Spirit, um, the, the temple that's on earth, uh, that God is not going to let her, his, his bride, his wife fall. <laughs> he's not going to let her fall. Um, he will draw us unto him and we're drawing near to him and he's drawing nearer to us. And though it looks like the enemy is, is going to defeat us, it's not true. A lot of brethren are thinking that and it's not true. Um, we don't want to, to discourage anyone, but comfort one another with the words of the hope that we see in, I think it's second Th Thessalonians, the hope of um, being caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. Um, that is a hope. And I just wanted to share with you this video because he gives such great hope. And I do believe that we will have victory over our enemies in this last hour. Now, in Proverbs, uh, oh, I wanted to say also, so I talked about sweetness. So in Proverbs, I'm just going to read this to you. All right, hopefully I remember which which one it is I'm looking right now. It says, um, I'm looking for, uh, the wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the, lip, of the lips increaseth learning. I love that. That's in uh, Proverbs 16, 21. And it talks about the um, honeycomb. In 1624, it says, Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Praise the Lord. He talks about the health to the bones. And we know that God's words are sweet like a honeycomb. And I wanted to also read this in Revelation 10. Because Brother Rich and Eberly Jr.'s uh, videos are sweet because they come from the Word of God. From the Holy Spirit and it's his words are sweet so in Revelation 10 it says in um, verse we'll start in verse uh, 7 but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he shall begin to sound the mystery of God should be finished as he declared to his servants the prophets and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said go and take the little book which is an open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. Now this is a voice from heaven, which is sweet, right? Because a heavenly voice is sweet. A, a heavenly testimony or witness is from God. Uh, someone that testifies that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, or someone that testifies that Jesus has come in the flesh and that he resurrected a flesh and bone man, a son of man, as it says in Luke. Um, at, after his resurrection, he told Thomas, doubting Thomas, touch, feel my hands and my feet, uh, for flesh and bone hath not spirit. So he quickened that body um, by his spirit, praise his name. Um, but it says here, it, it goes on to say, and I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it 
and eat it up. And it shall be make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And in my, as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Now, the, the, this is eating angel's food. God said we would be like the angels, right? And in, in um, uh, the wilderness, God fed them angel food, manna that fell down from heaven. 